Hi everybody. Hel hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Um sorry, I just myself a little. Um we're starting Valhalla today or tonight, I suppose. <laughs> Cause it is not daytime anymore. Um But uh yeah. <laughs> We've got already got a lot of games on our plate, but uh, this it was on sale. And uh, I said, why not? Because <laughs> uh, people have asked me if I've played this before, like one or two people, not a whole lot. But it was on my wish list for that reason. And uh, yeah. Hi, shopping cart. Hi, dear. Uh, yeah, let me know if the uh, volume is too loud, too quiet. Uh, there's no sound right now. There will be. I think. Is bird games? Oh yeah, there's sound now. Glitch City 2070 XAD. A city that shouldn't exist. A tax haven where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. In this place, all human life has been infected with nano machines to keep them in check. It's too fast. It's too fast. Here, brutality in all its forms is an everyday reality. The quality of life for the for the I can't read fast enough. For many, this can be overwhelming. Some devote themselves to their jobs, their families, or even their studies. Some look for ways to escape this place. But for many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of a glass. I'm blue. On a small road just seconds away from the main street, somewhere near the slums, you can find the vault. <laughs> That's a mouthful, so we just call it Valhalla. Hi, Brad. Hi, dear. Congrats on being first. A small oasis in the middle of the concrete desert, a fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. You want your smooch? Okay. And thank you for being here. Oh, hi, Thorn. Thank you for being here. Um, we're playing Valhalla. <laughs> I cannot read fast enough to save my life, but... <laughs> I am excited. I don't know how long this game is. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. But, uh, here's your smooch bread. Mm -hmm. There you go. But uh, th I hope you're doing all right, Thorn and Bread and Chopper Cart. Good to see you guys. Um, is the game too loud, too quiet? Can you hear me over the game? Is it okay? Drink water. I just drink water. Okay. The game can go down a bit. Okay. Put it down here. Small tad too spicy for the volume, but otherwise fine. Oh, that's it. Okay. I turned it down a little smidge. Is that a little better? I just want to make sure it sounds okay before we start. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. Here we go. Um, and this is a mature rated game, so I don't think it's as cozy as coffee talk uh -oh. I don't know what to expect but uh, I guess we'll find out excuse me I was doing the intro again can I read it Christ, reign supreme. Okay. Let's play. Oh, yeah. Oh, coffee talk is too many, too. Oh, okay. The quality of life for the non powerful decreases at an alarming rate. For many, this can be overwhelming. Some devote themselves to their jobs. 
their families, or even their study. Some look for other ways to escape this place. But many of them, for many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of a glass. Thank you for the alert shopping cart. Thank you. On a small road just seconds away from the main street, somewhere near the slums, you can find the the hall of... <laughs> I can't eat So we just call Valhalla. A small oasis in the middle of the concrete desert, a fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. Yeah, I suppose cover, cover talk is maturated, and that's where the story unfolds. Oh, did I wait too long? I think I waited too long. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. I don't have any snacks. I just ate. Um, and I have my water. Hope you have a good time. Uh, I should. I hope I have a good time too. I should. Oh. Hey, over here. Boo! How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression on, the main, on its main character. Oh. Shoot, an ass prank just started. Okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. Um... So, uh, I spent, like, 10-15 minutes looking for, uh, a specific time during the last night's stream to the VOD to clip it, <laughs> and, uh, I probably skipped past it multiple times, but we found it, um, there was a clip, um, I'm just talking about the, uh, ads going on. Should I move the throne gift maybe or the yeah I should probably move this um, I'm just gonna put it down here I think I don't want to put it in front of me um, shrink it And uh, put it right here. That should be good. Okay. <laughs> it should be good right there. Hopefully. Okay. I know we served a bunch of tuxedo clad corgis over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. Got a parcel? See ya! <gasps> oh. <sighs> it's just a dream. Hmm? There's something near the door? Chapter 1. Primera. Primera? 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 We got an achievement. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the Augmented Eye. Boss and me. Four. So, who was that letter from? Nobody. Okay. 
Uh, welcome, Jill. Add app. Mass immigration continues as Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Cyborg and Heels returns next year. Would you leave? Not without you. Mass immigration continues as Quincy reveals new economic adjustments by Kimberly Lavalette. With inflation rates among the highest in the world, constant shortages of basic groceries and rampant violent crime, Glitch City citizens look for a better life in other countries. Hi Floof! Hi dear! How are you? Good to see you. It's been a while. Uh, Quincy. Quincy, however, isn't happy with this. They learn in our schools and universities, the Prime Minister said during a talk with the Agman today, but they apply what they learn somewhere else, and I find it rather insulting. This comes after revealing new economic measures for the city, which most a a analysts consider to be useless for the current environment. They don't know shit, concluded Quincy. <laughs> okay. Long day at work, but you're alright? Listening to 2000 music? Nice, nice. I was born in 2000. <laughs> There's a newest threat. Being flooded with nostalgia? Yeah. I do that sometimes. Wonderlanders are the newest threat to your security. Beware by Kimberly Lavellette. If you thought Alice Rabbit was good at cracking the most complicated security protocols in the world, then this new group will certainly blow your mind. They've yet to make an impact as big as Alice Rabbit, but they seem to be aiming very high with the recent threats issued against Prime Minister Quincy. We hold full access to Quincy's e email network and will release the whole database this January, the group declared during a stream. I'm, I've been alright. I'm uh, dealing with a uh, an ear infection, but other than that, I'm doing alright. Shallow threats. When questioned, Prime Minister Quincy dismissed all the group's Hi Aster, hi dear, how are you? Good to see you. Hope you got some good sleep. In question, Prime Minister Quincy dismissed all of the group's threats by stating he's not hiding anything, and is not afraid of a possible leak of his email history. Maybe everyone will get to see what kind of TV I bought last month. Wild parties. The people behind the Wonderlanders seem to enjoy dressing in all kinds of rabbit costumes during the stream. From Anthro to Bunny Girl, the purpose was to show the love and respect they have for Alice rather than their role in today's politics. Got a couple beers here, chillin'. Nice, nice. I'm feeling alright right now. I don't know if that's just the ibuprofen or 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 what, but I feel alright right now. No pain. We want to follow their example while having some fun. We're not sure if this will go anywhere, but. We'll be there to tell you if it does. I wonder what Elma thinks of this whole thing. Cyborg and Heels returns next. Next year. It's, it should only be like another day or two, hopefully. If it goes on too long, I'll, I'll probably go to the doctor. <laughs> Cyborg and Heels returns next year to the Super Silver Thunderdome by Lana Smithy. 4A. Oh, 4A. His acting is unnatural. I don't think he cares about the rules of nature anyways. The private of the show Cyborg and Heels returns to the Dome this March, with tickets going on sale in January. Cyborg and Heels is a massive stage, stage show about a cyborg fighting terrorism while wearing heels. Director Quentin Hader explains Cyborg and Heels Heels a special appeal during an exclusive interview with the Augmented Eye. What's not to love about it? It's a cyborg, wearing heels, cutting stuff. That's literally something we've never seen before, a niche market I'm willing to capitalize on. Check out the full interview in the next few weeks, exclusively here at the Augmented Eye. Add app.
That's the menu music. Cool. Hi, Tattered. <coughs> Hi, dear. How are you? Good to see you. Tuesday, December 13th. Good evening. Ah, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face, Gil? When will you let people call you Jules? Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Oh, okay. I, I can't go too long without a shower. <laughs> I, I can sympathize. Where's Boss? Don't know. She went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes, but you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have, to pay I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful and... Ah. That's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering four... A left me with a completely empty wallet and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. Oh, 4A is her cat. Okay. And there's all the beer cans around my apartment and... Jill! Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second here, okay? Let's get started with the sugar rush. Look for the recipes in the navigation bar at the rest in the recipe book. They'll show you show up on the top left. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or, or types like manly. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the sh shaker in the center. Go. When done, press the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button or, or the drink itself to serve it in that'll be all. The company up here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, but if the drink looks messed up, You'll need to press the reset button and try again. You can press reset it at any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Hmm. Gil, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. And this should be no problem. Ugh. Gil wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients with, or the drink, I can press the reset button and try again. Okay, press the book. Okay. Uh, sugar rush. Two aldehyde? Too long in the road, yeah. One powder delta with optional caramel tree. All mixed. Hmm. 
Oops. And also Karma Train. All mixed. Sweet, light, and fruity. As girly as it gets. Sweet, girly, happy. I don't know how long you're supposed to mix it. <laughs> Is that it? Let's try it again. Oh, okay. Got it. So you have to stop it at the right time, too. Here. Happy now? A little, but not quite. Let's do one more. Ugh. I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. Some drinks need to be blended. This is done by mixing it for over five seconds. You can tell it's being blended when the shaker starts moving faster. You also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Check ice and age buttons on the side to select the one you need. And in case it wasn't obvious, on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tab. It should be noted that the station will add the ice after mixing. It's not something you should mind though, just a fun fact. Give me a moon blast, and I'll leave you alone. Keep in mind what I said. Yeah, yeah. Let's give Gil a moon blast. Blended drinks need to be left to mix for at least five seconds before I stop the shaker. Sticks, Adelhide. Adelhide. <laughs> One more. One powdered delta. One flangeride. And two karma train. Okay. All on the rocks and blended. No relation to the hadron can you can see in the room on the moon for one week every month. Sweet, girly, happy. So sleepy. Did you get some sleep then? Neat. Here, did I amuse you for too for long enough? You did. Sorry to hold you. Let's get working. Yeah. Oh yeah, before I forget. Hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over ten ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional optional caramel train, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Oh, okay. Optional caramel train doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Caramel train is the alcoholic factor in, in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. Hey guys! Oh, what? Eh? Who, who's that? I don't know. I found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest or bring her, un her unconscious body in here. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up. You know that. That's up for you to deal with. <laughs> I'll be in my office. You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have to work. To we have work to do. Damn it. There's two of you. Believe in yourselves. Ugh. <laughs> do you think Chief knocked her out? You want to go, bread? Okay. And in our honor. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll do the RR first. 
Ada Ada. And uh, you're a very good bread. You're a very, very good bread. That's such a good bread. <laughs> a very, very good bread. Yes, you are. Very good bread. Thank you for the redeem spread. Thank you, dear. Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl, at least not unprovoked. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just sleep sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working with you, go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? We spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what. We've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would take a joke, make a joke like that? Well, so, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun. Just that? Fine, I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, Let's play some music on the new jukebox. This bell needs to ha have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before I can start. I knew what was the logic behind that decision. Jukebox 3. Add songs by clicking the titles on the left. You can remove them by right-clicking their title or swap two songs by clicking on both. Systems go. Uh, I was living in preview. What, what's all systems go? Okay. There we go. All comfy now? That's good. Right. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, you! Give me a beer. Oh, sure, right on. He wants a beer. He looks like quite the big guy, though. Beer. One aldehyde. Two Bronson extract. One powder delta. Two flangeride. Flangeride. And four camera train. All mixed. Kitty. <laughs> You're a very good kitty, Aster. A very, very good kitty. Yes, you are. A very, very good kitty. Bubbly classic vintage. Tra traditionally, brewed beer has become a luxury. But this one's pretty close to the real deal. All mixed. Okay. Oh, shoot. Hmm, let's set up. Okay. There we go. Here you go. No, no, this isn't going to cut it. Give me a big one. Um, sure. We have to, uh, double the ingredients now. <laughs> okay. That's two aldehyde. Four Bronson. Two delta. Four... 
Lion Chai. And eight Karma Tree. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How about this one? Ah, yes. Now this one's fit for a man like me. Right. You're lucky I was in, in a meeting close by. This hell host could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work is taking me to worse hell holes, like New Jersey 3. <laughs> huh. What kind of work do you do, mister? Donovan. You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. They serve with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then? Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about the, that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. <laughs> Toby is the best kitty in the world. <laughs> thank you for the redeem, Thorn. Thank you, thank you. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help them make full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker. But not all the daily stories about murders and the other horrors? Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared or bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add good cities, lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get desensitized. it. The sensei, people get bored in, of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. We'll try to sleep now. Okay, Aster, dear. Get some good sleep, okay? When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now, you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. Death's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easy to write about and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Huh, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone likes a certain something should be sodomized. Oh. <laughs> oh, everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part of, about that is that they know half of our cooks come from them, so they get all their all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. <laughs> See? The kid on the restaurant critique column. Uh, uh, shit, forget that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's uh, that kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. 
How so? He rarely writes about the places that the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he buys when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Do they look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Come cheaper in bulk at the store, though. Okay. So, we need to double it again. Two. Right. Oh, wait. Three. Four. Okay, bread. Thank you for being here. Good to see you. I'll see you later, okay? the big things that make life worthwhile. Or it's the big things. <laughs> Suing Buffalo Wild Wings for calling bonus wings wings when in actuality it's breast meat. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So it's not wing meat, they just use breast meat in their boneless wings? That are actually... It's, so, okay. <laughs> That's funny. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So, tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. <laughs> Who was that? Nobody important. Hey! I heard that! Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you like. <laughs> Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the right carpet kind of famous. Those folks people pretend to love, but act actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love? Fall from grace. What do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance for dang to be so much more successful than them. No, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I failed to see the failed to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. Oh please. As a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind of always loves to hear that stuff. It's like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical from coming from you. Even if that's the case, I don't sen sen sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. 
But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude plays the nice guy. That plays the nice guy is indeed really a nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help, sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, brat? Well, you can play that game of... Huh? Hmm. <laughs> hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm elaborate hellbent on world conquest. <laughs> Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe? Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because I know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting. Half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think one is smithy. It's one person, do you? Figures. Uh, anyway, eventually the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson. Or boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father. And grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan? Now that's more like it. They're referring to me. Not to the man in front of them. But not to my family, not to my position as a boss. To me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, God, no. But I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks. But rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah. You were asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one. Do you? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. But I need to cut myself off. I just remembered that I have a night shift later. Give me something bitter and big, but not alcoholic. I need to wake myself up. I can do that. Uh, let's see. Flavor. Bitter. PG rated shows favorite beer Erstaz since 24. Big and with no alcohol at all. Alright. So Karma Train is the alcohol. Wow. Bitter. It's a gut punch. Optional karma train, okay. But it wants it big, so we have to double our ingredients. It's supposed to mean a punch made of innards, but the name actually describes what you feel with drinking it. Bitter, manly, strong. Okay, we'll go for this. Okay, 10. And 
to plant your guide. Yeah, right but it, it was the little like cocktail or margarita cup with the weird thing so I think I messed it up okay this doesn't have alcohol in it either although okay Suplex. Oh, this was optional too. Oh wait, that's sweet. Okay, let's try making this. It tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. It's Girly, though. Piano woman. Which one was it? Was it the gut punch? Yeah, that's the gut punch. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. But it it doesn't say gut punch. The shake for more? Okay. Make a normal one? Okay. Let's try that. He wants it big though. Right. What? Oh, all mixed aged. I forgot the aged part. <laughs> we gotta age it. There we go. That's what's going on. Okay. We got, I got it. We're, we're good now. Gut punch, there we go. <laughs> I just forgot, I can't read. Here you go. Paint me blue and call me Sue, you can actually do it. Let's let me stay up late tonight. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? You didn't call the... You didn't call the hell? There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there's no local investors. Why? Just want to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> 
Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so I can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you, you your money. But no. They have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for, ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. You're gonna look okay, Thorn. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do, do what the other newspaper does? Recently, they told me that they need more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while, while still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? If they want more clicks, I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. I never heard from him again. Jill! Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? What kind of... That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the vents. Shh, you look up Briar Rose over there. I, I won't forget. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I? Big gut punch, fast. All right. He wants a gut punch. I want to give him a gut punch. All right. So it was with optional harm treat. Okay. What? Oh, aged. Two flames, right? I'll just fill the rest with karma tree for no good reason. Here you go. Here. Hmm. You can actually do it then. Huh? Oh. Hmm. This crack house is a bar? Hellhole crack house? Sounds like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, Mr. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. So for the question then, Mr. Ingram D McDougal. Sorry about the smell, we're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple hours? No. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. <laughs> May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended me this place and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm trying to doubt her tastes. Regular? Can I ask who? No. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music is, at least has decent taste. Thank you! Hey Joe, where did, where did you put the dish soap? Gills run out. Below the sink where it's always been? Right. Oh, customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay of a holiday. So any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance our customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't avoid a of this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The one who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's... An achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her me mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. 
You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class 5 weaponry, the other one a uh, pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. She's g she got really drunk and she started screaming like she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? There's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. Uh, was that also a bit of drink? Yes. He just wants a regular pile driver. Okay. Three Brunson. Three Flanderide. And four Karma Train. It doesn't burn as hard on the tongue, but you better not have a sore throat when drinking it. Here. Hmm. It's fine, I guess. Hey, late. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Uh... I'm sorry? I think I heard wrong. I guess if you ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a light how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you've really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. Still, that's quite the random puck you just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me your fringe weaver. All right. Uh, fringe weaver. Ugly classy sprung. It's like drinking eth ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Once aged. Encumbered. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. French Weaver. Trying to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey, lady. Excuse me. Have you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like, hungry? No, I mean, like, empty like there's a part of you missing. I can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might help you keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative, which is bitches and alcohol. I tried sex towards them once, so it's like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left midway through. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day or day a day for three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. Um have you tried rescuing a puppy? Yes, <laughs> you shouldn't. I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me or to believe me. Eh? 
I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Good. <laughs> Woo! Boss, I'm gonna take my break. Alright. Twenty six nine Dukaban Games. Uh save. It's not safe to keep playing. What's that mean? Oh, it's because I saved. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Uh, every day is night. Let's see. Oh, right. Okay. Um... Neo Avatar. A ring? Those who dwell in shadows. Uh, there we go. We'll go with that. Okay, then back in action. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh. Sorry, I'm just, it's so comfortable, I usually forget I have it on. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, Miss... Master Specialist Sei P. Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps Corps at your service? Wait, that's so long. just call me Sei. What can I get for you, Sei? I gotta blow my nose, one second. Sorry about that. Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too. Um, but not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. Um, drink water. Thank you, Zamet. You can't sleep. I'm sorry, Aster. A sweet drink. Perf preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. Something like smells sweet and icy. wonder if I have something so specific. Uh, let's see. So we want something on the rocks. Tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. She's cute. She is. On the rocks. 
optional commentary. Okay. Let's do let's do this one. It's not too big. Whoops. Not that great. Adult hide on the rocks. Two grunts in. And I put one karma tree in there. Oh, and blended, okay. Sunshine Cloud. Alright, let's try this. Here you are. Um, didn't you have anything sweet? Well, I guess my, my, my idea of sweet could be different from yours. Never mind, this works fine too. You don't get many white knights as clients. I can only remember one, one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Court, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, 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 no. You're thinking of Blitzkrieg Court. The one with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we are different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attack. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times. The ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> we recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. It kind of sounds like they're the cleanup crew, yeah. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have been some... You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and was blown away by how pretty this city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there's this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was all, all almost dreamlike. But that's not what I meant by shocking sights. No? Well, those are sights. And they're shocking, right? Yeah, but never mind. Wait, did I mishear you when actually... And you actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've helped suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated sighs from people after everything said, everything said and done. But don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry about it too much about it. You finish your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can it be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't have... I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. Excuse me. No problem. Don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Classy drink. Simple enough. Classy. Uh, cobalt Velvet. It's like champagne served on a cup that had a bit, a uh, bit cola left. Okay. Eight out of ten smug assholes we recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. <laughs> uh, five commentary. She doesn't want it too big. Hi, Tweely. Hi, dear. How was how was uh, your stream? How'd it go? Was it a good time? Hmm. 
Nice, that's good. We're uh, playing Valhalla, a cyberpunk bartender action. It's pretty cozy. I like the vibes quite a bit. It's fun. It's a good time. Uh, but welcome, Raiders. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm uh, I am catch up the bear. Uh, I do ASMR every Wednesdays and Sunday. Yeah, it's kind of like coffee talk. That you mix drinks for people, that kind of thing. It's also a uh, visual novel. There is uh, swearing. <laughs> so if you're not into that kind of thing, uh, no worries. Um, I don't mind. <laughs> but uh, welcome readers. Uh, yeah, I do ASMR every Wednesday and Sunday night. And uh, the rest of the week, uh, we play games. A variety of games. <laughs> We uh, play games like this. Um, yesterday, we, I played uh, GTFO with some friends. Played uh, Cassette Beasts, Final Fantasy XIV, all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's always a good time. I hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> and. Uh, There we go. It was real fun. Yeah. Uh, uh, we didn't play it again sometime. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Is the game too loud? Too quiet? I feel like it might be too loud. It's too loud for me. It is. It's pretty loud. But is the stream volume okay? A little loud? Okay. okay. Hopefully that's a little better. Okay. Uh, mobile crashed? I'm sorry, Aster. I had problems with the mobile app too. Not the drunkenness out of you or not yet cold. Bubbly, classy burden. But nothing but mammals after all. Vintage. That's a beer. Oh, classy. Uh... Alright, um, let's go with this one. Oh, she, she said she doesn't want it too big, but they feel like... Because this is... That's already ten... That's a full thing. That's eight. That's ten, two. As call service problems? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> uh, Mercury Blast? Pretty big drink too. I think they're all the same size. No thermometer has harm was harmed in the creation of this drink. All right, let's go with this one then. Two, three, four, five, six, 
Each it. Tree. I one karma tree. Okay. All aged and mixed. Can't see this. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kinds of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. Now, what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name. Now I want to know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian. Ju Julianne. Do not call me Julianne, please. Oh, sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why do you like being called... Why, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on that. Oh, okay. I still feel bad for angering, angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill. And I don't like angering nice people. It helps somehow. I really like this place. That... Actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap. My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school. So the smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. <clears throat> what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so... Studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. But aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. <laughs> a white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that. But ever since then, I felt this was my call. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Huh. That's interesting, though. One would think that being attacked by a white knight would help... Would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of... Guide myself toward judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but... You get me. Yeah, I tried to do the same, too. Why join the Valkyrie course specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people. From dire situations whenever possible. And getting into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now to think about it, there are two different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. <laughs> there are many different classes. Rescue, Assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. We usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But a few are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under-the-table deals. Interesting. There's also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks, and besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? Oh, something else. I remember some drink called a martini? Brantini. No, I'm pretty sure there's. it's martini. It's brantini. Trust me, I'll get you one. She wants a mar- Sorry, a brantini. <laughs> brantini. Okay. 
aged. Six Ethelhide. Five. Six. Karma tree. Grand tea. Here, see? Huh. You were right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult though. She's more into uh, classier places. Not that this place isn't nice, but... but Don't worry, I know the kind of place I work in. Uh, I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to... What was that? Sounded like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She she left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her. I'll go check what the ever-loving hell that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Where, where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. Uh, well, Hollow, am I dead? Uh, does that mean that Uncle Ingus's ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy down downtown bar are true? Called it. Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife look exactly, but you're breathing, right? Uh, Alright. Then where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What are you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Why, are you? why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just... <laughs> the whole lot of you! You want to tear, tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, and have your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? All while still violating every home of... <laughs> Okay. Interrupt me. My list is going nowhere. Let's see if I can just if I can get a drink to calm her down, or throw her at her face. Uh. Um. Oh, Zen Star. It should taste nice. You'd be dead wrong. Oh. Um, the moon blast. No relation to hard drink can. Okay. Don't think that'll be very calming. Excuse me. Think carefully, Jill. Give her something that will calm her down. Hi, Ninetail. Hi, dear. How are you? I should probably put on the, uh, <laughs> the uh, profanity or vulgarity. Because there's, there's a profanity in this game. <laughs> well, hi, Ninetail. How are you, dear? Good to see you. Hope you've been all right. He kisses staff. That cube bone emote is adorable. There's your smooch. Thank you for the smooch redeem. A couple of these will make your tongue feel the... Okay. Or them and you'll be sleeping sound. Okay. Let's do this then. A powder delta. Of course, you're welcome. Uh, I'll put them. They used. Put them on karma tree. And mix. Defeat tree. Oh, what is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bars serve drinks. Been a hard day. I'm sorry to hear that, DR. A, a bar? 
So I figure I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. You want to stream tonight? I'm doing all right, Nine Tail. Hopefully, this ear infection will be gone soon. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm not in any pain right now, but uh, it's still hanging around. It's lingering. <laughs> To calm down, what'd you spice it with? R roofies? TTX? Pumpkins? Oh god, no. I wouldn't even think of it. Your story makes you suspicious, you know. If I had it, ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay in tips. Not to mention, I'd have to pay my any lawsuits myself. That's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They show themselves all prepared for a hefty PR boost. And, and the thought of going through all that is just... Brrrr. <laughs> Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and head out three... Head just three businesses to the left, you find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana, Dana Zane sent you. Hmm. <laughs> But uh, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Had some hot dogs for dinner. <laughs> Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What about... Oh my god! How? Why? Uh, How? I'm back. You tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. It says negative. Even in f the future, no one can try it. Yeah. Well, in the future, they'll all be AI driving us around, right? There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point. But well, first of all, it's not my name. It's, it's my boss's. Second, we're pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like spicy chicken or bars. <laughs> the spicy chicken of bars. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Hmm. You want a good girl? Okay. <clears throat> Ninetail, you're a very good girl. You're a very, very good girl, Ninetail. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. A very, very good girl. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Alright. I hope that was good. Thank you for the redeem. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink. Go through that door and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace and nothing of value would be lost. Uh, are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Eh? And what about the drink? Are you going to let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I... Well, I'll let you know that I'm not that... I'll let you know that I'm not that unimportant. That your work doesn't matter. No... <laughs> no, you... Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Nightdale. Um, not sure you drink it all so fast. So, how was it? Hmm. It was fine. 
but not something I'd order normally. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you're telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment, too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get... I need to get... I need to get my thoughts in order. <laughs> Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crashed outside. Uh, I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the street stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. How'd you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what. Your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Insert an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take out you take you on your offer. I'll have I'll have a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just got the last one, so I want to enjoy this one too. Come right up then. She's asking for a piano man. You don't see women asking for a piano man every day. He piano man. To Adelheid. Where do you get the, the platypus emote? It's so cute. The mad man. <laughs> They're all platypuses. It's are cute. Cute emotes. Okay. Three Bronson. Three. Uh, five power for Delta. Five Plangeride. Plangeride. And three Carnal Tree. This drink does not represent the opinions of the Bar Pianists Union or its associates. Oh shoot, I forgot. It's, it's gonna be on the rocks. Okay. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Two, three, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And on the rocks. There's a piano man. Here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pian pianist attempted to kill him. What did they do? Your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in the bar when suddenly the penis slipped off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and, and that my dad looked like some music critic that might had bashed him. I still hold my stance that you just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I see. The piano man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a penis friend of his that had just died. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? I've heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye. I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves, leaves his reek wherever he goes. So, you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have it 
that people have it done before they realize what's going on. Even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. And would you believe it? The guy became a decent became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. It's kinda admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's ah. Why are you working there then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. Keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point, I thought about being a bartender, but I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know. I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an, an interesting person, but with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been she's been a bit tense the last couple days. But even then, when you're when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but. Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. So, shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one. Although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I can handle another drink. One Brantini, please. Coming right up. She wants a Brantini. Sorry, a Mar. Ah! A Brantini. Yeah, that. A Brantini. All aged. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three. Here. Yep, this seems like this stuff. Cheers! Hey, Jill. Was this job, like, a lifelong dream or something? I don't know if a martini is trademarked or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Not really, it just kind of happened. One thing led to another, and BAM! Bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? Hmm. The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julianne arcade machine. I can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having room where every piece of furniture talks. Being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. I remember when I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, it became a bartender. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Good night, ma'am. 
Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell cling to my body. Sure. Um, who was he? A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that. Why are you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm going to take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you. Come again. And that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's the girl that was here? Excuse me. Go clean the bathroom and left. Because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? When you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling... Do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Hmm? Not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger, just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you to today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Whew! $2,379 in one night? That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good money. At least, I think it is. Maybe not for them. <laughs> We can make a single mistake. <laughs> right? <laughs> Flawless service bonus. Woohoo! Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least eight hundred dollars by then. Jill's lost in thought about a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Uh, you can now browse Danger U. You can now visit JC Elton's. Right, weren't you gonna have curry yesterday? A ghost took my money. Boss and me. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Alright. Uh, let's save. Um, yeah, what's this? Mickey Concert 2. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. Mickey Concert. Dangerous Opinions. In the last thread, Anon wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I still don't know. And how is she? I bet she's one of those cute, clueless girls who can't catch her signals. Hmm, you say that, but she can't. She can be incredibly sharp sometimes. So it's right. That's going to be difficult. Now you have to be direct and to the point. I'm afraid what's going to be the, that's going to be the case here. Uh, not that I'm actually in love. Stop. I'm going to marry Mickey. Something such an attention for. We're, we're here for Miki. Come on, Anna. Don't be mean. We just want to help a fellow Miki sister. You, you don't have to fight because of me. It wasn't my intention to derail the thread. Don't pay attention to it. Everyone else here wants to help you. I'm a guy. Okay. Now who's the attention for again? This thread is closed. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. But it says on the tin. So what's the news on? News on them. Hmm. Drawing a blink right now. We haven't heard of Al heard of Alice in a while. Now that I think of it, you think they're planning something? 
There's this constant rumor I hear about a terrorist attack next week. Don't scare me with that stuff, please. I have enough as it is. Lol. We're going to be attacked and it will be funny to see those white tights <laughs> do nothing but drink. How do you know if you get hacked by Alice? It's my first time reading about them. Work more. She normally leaves a funny SC drawing and a message. Something like, Happy not birthday. Sounds lame as fuck. Why would... <laughs> is Alice even a celebrity? The hell? Alice is the one who leaked all the internal white knight memos. She literally started the riots with the leaks. At least try with your ba try with your baits. The sword is closed. Wiki concert. Okay, so let's limit all kinds of con conversation to this thread. How are you preparing for the best day of your life? I'm going with my boyfriend. Boyfriend. Why'd you lie on the internet? Ha <laughs> ha, oh wow. Fucking normies, get out! But they're so cute, Anna. Anyway, I'm going with a very special friend of mine. Are you the girl from the other day who had a crush on her best friend? Uh, yes. So you're finally going to confess? Oh my god, this is going to be the cutest thing. But I still don't know if I sh if I still don't know if I like her. Just wait till Miki shows up. You know right away if you love her. Trust me, I've I've been there. How so? You understand once you you are there with her. Miki concerts are some magical shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, a and E. This that page looks silly. It's amusing. It's amusing in its own way. Local woman, local hero. Midair. That sounds a bit too fantastical. Local woman, local hero. By Lana Smithy. This morning, a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred at the Artemis Will Mall, where people know someone. At was at the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as their presence was noticed by pedestrians, but the person jumped off without notice. The mysterious rescuer. Just when the would-be suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch the midair and flood the scene before anyone else could identify her. The mall is taking extra security measures now. 70% of our readers can see. The shrimp is so artificial it doesn't trigger my allergies. <laughs> 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting. <laughs> Smithy. This is not really a surprise, but a lot of people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food. This is from a survey we conducted here at the Augmented Eye last month. We asked our readers to tell us their most hated dishes. And with a total of 6,000 votes, it looks like the market for shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good because it sucks. It sucks so much I barf a little every time I smell it. How can anyone like that? It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, this stuff is probably artificial. Ugh, I can't even finish this article. I'm sorry, everyone. But I have to puke. Output's put out of sale. I think Ellis... I think Ellis Rabbit, Rabbit might be a dog. Don't trust this dog. By Lana Smithy. A dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancements, they're capable of learning at near human speeds. So why is it so impossible to imagine a gifted dog who uses their brilliance for programming? Yeah, that kind of stuff. Makes a lot of sense, right? Well, maybe. <laughs> it's all in... Oh, you can grab... That's cool. That's nice. It's purple numbers. Welcome, Jill. Oh, you sure? Over and over, hover over an item to examine it. JC Elton's. Torter, Priya, Poor, and Cargo. Nuclear. Okay. Toy Touring. Oh, sentient. Just, but there's this cute. Mr. She wanted a hollow plant. In memory of a real potted plant. Discount. Shoulder massage. Hi, Teeny. Oh, I'm still blushing. <laughs> Here we go.
How you doing, T? Good to see ya. Um, hope you're doing all right. I'm doing good. I think I'm about over. I I feel like I'm almost done with this ear infection. <laughs> but I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We're playing uh, Valhalla, cyberpunk bartender action. That's pretty cool. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I had hot dogs for dinner. I'm doing great. <laughs> They're pretty good hot dogs. Um, we just finished the first day. Um, there is like, uh, there is, uh, swearing if you're, if you don't like that kind of thing. Uh, but it, it's good. It's good. I like the vibes quite a bit. Um, Alright. She wanted the all oh, plant. You swear like a sweet sailor? Okay. She up all what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She was really focused at work. What you gonna have curiously? Go stick on that money. Okay. So we got the hollow plant. It's cool that she has Jill has a little room. It's cool. I like that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Go to work. Wednesday, December 14th. Good evening. Hey Jill. That's a sign you don't hear every day. Oh, boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about, about to ask where, where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it. So I left it under the count. Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable. And cool. And comfortable. And cool. And, and really, really cool. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was... Gah! Don't run. You have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Chief? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll don detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what where now? Nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense the past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. Are you all set? Yep. All right, now we get to set up our music for the evening. Um, like time maneuvers. Uh, put this one on and star pierce. A star pierces the dark. I like that one. I like that one. Snowfall. I wish it was snowing. <laughs> Winter sounds nice right about now. Synth stitch. Yeah, I like snow. <laughs> okay, I don't feel like that one. 
Uh, reminiscence? Yeah, I like that one. Uh, let's give away the... This one. Okay. <laughs> right? I think it might have uh, rained overnight. It might snow today. Hi, Toto. Hi, dear. How are you? Good to see you. What you playing tonight? Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Brett. You're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Lucky says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? The usual. Gee, I wonder what he means. A big beer. Mr. Wolfenstein? Wolfenstein? <laughs> okay, so... Right, that's very true, Aster. So, <laughs> we uh, we doubled the ingredients because uh, it makes the drink a, a big one. <laughs> or a large size. So, here you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. You're built for this, no? Yeah. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. We were supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with imprisons. You were here yesterday, too. How did that come about? Where's this guy that's performing at the concert later tonight? Yesterday, I was tuning the details of the interview I, I'd have with her today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. <laughs> I see. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. We've come a long way in the Department of Lilum Sex Appeal, I tell you. She was a Lilum then? Yes. One of those new fancy King class Chia models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm? Hey you, the guy with the John face. Huh? Me? What the hell is the John face? Yeah, I do. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? I, I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. So I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when those damned riots broke out. Seriously, though. Did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many, they have different capabilities you put in between. It's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation, it, like that you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. <laughs> That's a very laconic way of summarizing the internet. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. But the general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key to factor in the plans. 
everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests were... On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. <laughs> All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Heh, <laughs> scholarship. That's no mean feat, Brett. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kinda excited back then, because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza-faced pencil neck. And I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. <laughs> Someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks. Well, I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese. Chinese? Wait, when I say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Canto what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you're only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me in Mars Blast too, right? <clears throat> sure, on it. Oh, it's a Mars Blast. That's a change of pace. Alright. A uh, Mars Blast. A Mars Blast is six Bronson Extract, one powder, Delta, four Flanger... Flanger Guide... Flanger Guide? <laughs> and two Comatrine, all blended. One leaves is enough to leave your face red like an actual planet. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. One, two, three, four. One, two. Wait, once it blended. Sir. Here. Alright. I guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey kid, I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Okay, Esther. Be safe. Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh, good. Fuck those sons of bitches. <laughs> what did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff, how they feel like they have more power than you do, and all that. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when I'm drunk. That and racial slurs in German. Racial slurs in... what? Well, let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. Uh, excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are all, always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff and people will buy it if you're the apple in their, of their eyes. But wait, make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. Gods forbid if they ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. Talking about the animal. <laughs> All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. They are having picnic parties in the same forests and thought we were writing about them. <laughs> God. I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damn namesake. Yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it. But the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And will some take it graciously? Many just love feeling insulted. 
They relished the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are, are, are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present the news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but... Hearing it from him, from him is kinda... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished my an interview and it just and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Did you say you have to did you have to pay or something? Basically, basically, when that Encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Bitter. Probably a gut punch. Duplex. Small twist on the pile driver, putting more emphasis on the tongue burning and less on the throat burning. Let's just go with a gut punch. Two, three, four, five, one. Age. Mix. Gut punch. Here. Yeah, this works just fine. Man, that girl's producer was angry as fuck, trying to negotiate with him was a hassle. Yeah, but this problem is dealing with SoCal Justice Warriors. Who? SoCal Justice Warriors. That mafia vigilante group that runs around solving crimes in swimsuits. Oh yeah, those artificially blonde, artificially tanned folks with big blonde objects. Yeah. They're an interesting group, you know. They only accept people born or raised in Southern California and go through hellish training on a daily basis. They have to. No normal person can run in swimsuits in this cold weather. They have an interesting view on the world and how it works. But they're pretty sensitive too. Too many outlets have ins insulted them in the past, so they are trigger happy against defamation. I've had a dozen guys in speedos talking to me about some news while flaunting their bag bags of batteries and they were still more polite than the, that producer guy think about it watching a banana hammock move at the same time as a bag of batteries was more pleasant I'm pretty sure there's a banana hammocks and bags of batteries audience somewhere though well I'm out thank you please come again yeah yeah that was uh, tiring welcome back Aster hey Jill I think I have a problem don't tell me. Yep. I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie type white knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know. I could break it, but I don't want to damage the client's proper What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> Shit. Don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know, I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris. I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no God or Buddha, you can always trust Boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey, can you see me? Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? 
Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... <laughs> Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a VIC jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos or of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where their clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible? Come again? There's a peop there's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Where you can only see a few articles of clothes floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that would make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. Nano camo? Can we trade with nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched into civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and, to change, and change the colors of clothes, walls, or type, tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with that? What, what does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. Hi, Jebent. Hi, dear. How are you? Good to see you. Hope you're doing all right. You're still alive, so decent. Well, I'm glad you're still alive, too. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost. To the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie surroundings colored blob. What is this game? It's a uh, Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. <laughs> it's a uh, visual novel kind of thing. Kind of like uh, Coffee Talk, but uh, more anime and cyberpunky. It's cool. I like the vibes. It's fun. <laughs> uh, we're, we've finished the first day. This is the second day. I don't know how... I think we just... like We basically just started the second day, I think. And we let them see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. A $60 drink? Piano woman. This drink is $320. <laughs> And what drink is sixty dollars? Five Adelheid. Five Bronson. Two Patrick Delta. Three three Hunter Guide. And three Chromatrine. It was that ad on the back wall? Oh, off to look. All aged and mixed. It was originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complained there would be a piano woman. There should be a piano woman if there was a piano man. Hmm. Pea woman. Oh, that's a cup noodle. <laughs> that's not a drink, that's a cup noodle. $60 cup noodle. At least that's what it looks like.
one piano woman. Thanks. I love these ones, you know. I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. That's even worse. It is. <laughs> it's pretty bad. That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know? Hmm? If you're only enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay to pay if you want to get naughty though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Do you pay him to finish the sentence and I'll make you sure you truly become invisible? <laughs> Fine. Consider this a standing offer though. Oh, hey John. Ah, oh, Dorothy. Didn't see you there last didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What'd you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did they do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened. What, what happened when? And, you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, I bet your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on. Now, she's stuck. Oh. Yeah, randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean... There's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... <clears throat> a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you should come before you start. Uh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not... Pinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day to pretending to be his daughter. Really? Yeah. I go to his house at 1 11 a.m. just as requested and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him and go to bed when ordered and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to ex I used to expect him to push me against that ground and have his way with me. But after three years it's unlikely it'll happen. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she's she, seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep, it seems to attract that kind of people for some reason. Or I seem to attract. Right. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. One moon blast coming right up. Moon blast is six and it'll hide one power tilt till one point drive two karma tree. All on the rocks and blended. No relation to the Hadron Cannon, you, you can see in the moon for one week every month. Uh, on the rocks one two Three, four, five, six. One, one, 
one, two. And blend it. Okay. Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in... Tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. The dessert was good. What dessert? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind you're a girl. <laughs> Do you actually mind what... Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC 72s look like kids? Yes and no. Out of factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Reese's Cup Parfait, that does sound pretty good. Then you look like babies outside the factory? Nope, every fresh DFC 72 looks about 10 to 13 it makes it easier to upgrade it makes it easier to upgrade later upgrade once the dfc 72 passes three maturity tests it can opt for a factory upgrade said upgrade alters its body to something older some go for it some don't will you go through it i don't know right now i'm a rarity you don't find many like me in my line of work so i have an advantage and I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing after they want a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? <laughs> I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Gil. Welcome to... Does it happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her jewels. <laughs> oh, Jill and Gil sound, sound similar. Call me Jules, and I'll make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I was supposed to be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay, honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. Sunshine Cloud. Make both before serving. Okay. Sunshine Cloud. Okay. On the rocks. Okay. So it's big, so we double everything. It's four. Four. And uh, I'll put in for Karma Train. Press next after the first mix to make this second drink. Make both before serve. Okay. It's gonna be blended. Next. And a gut punch. Runs. 
an extract. Android. Sure. All aged. And mixed. Here and here. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy. May I ask you something? Uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room and invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that DFC72... That the DFC72 line leaves tracking nanomachines and the other person after, well... After they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? <coughs> yes. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like. That way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy, though. I've heard stories of DFC 72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and BAM! The partners end up spending their honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've minded myself so much that if any tracking nanomachines machines were still being released, I have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nanomachines machines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I can ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that nothing more, young lady. Fine. See if I can. Fine, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you, please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Alright, I'm going to go and take my... Yo! I need your girly hands for a second here! Coming! Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? There it is. <laughs> Sir, no problem. I apologize. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. No, nah, don't worry. Sorry, you'll have to deal with me. You no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast with Gil. Blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars blast? That I can. Kind of blast drink by accident. Mars Blast. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, and two. All blended. One of these is enough to leave your face red like the actual planet. Here. Bitter and mind-numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to a war? Not to an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was our professional assassin. <laughs> could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to be any doesn't have any bearing on your personality. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I know come here looking for trouble, so I 
don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for raising my mind about other folks. A boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of the things if I went... Take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Or not to mind it if you just said... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn, I still don't know them. Are you trying to ask her? You told me it's more interesting if it's less left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some other rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break! Alright. Oh, it's Dorothy down there. Okay. At least I think it's Dorothy. Save. It's now safe to keep playing. Wash your cleaning chicken buckets she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Okay. Answer lies within. Uh, ooh, digital drive. Neon district. Chromo train train. Um, skyline. Face of the Titans. Out of orbit. Could take a couple minutes more, you know. I'm fine, thanks. How'd you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it, put it on again. Right. Yes, it's open! Great! Welcome to Valhalla. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta. Kinda? Yeah? She's pretty. Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice, nice. Where can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do, you, what do you normally enjoy? I like tea. <laughs> That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? 
Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. Girly and bitter. Alright. You brushed them well. Fluffy dream? Well, not fluffy dream, I don't think. Oh, we want bitter. That's right. Um, bitter, girly, soft. Okay, this is bitter and girly. On the rocks and blended. Tastes like old chocolate milk. Okay, right, all right. Sweet, girly. Is there girly soft? Okay. Yeah, we'll go with this. Do, do. Put one armatrine in there on the rocks and blended. Sun cloud, okay. Sure. Try this. Yep, this will do just fine. Thanks. Well, now. <laughs> you don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in a dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrows. I'm the northern light that will sh show you your dreams. Kira Mickey. I'm Kira Mickey. Mickey? Mickey? So, should I call you Miss Mickey or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Mickey. Here, let me help you. I say Kira and you say Mickey, okay? Okay. Kira. M Mickey. No, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. Kira. Uh, Mickey. Almost there. Kira. Mickey. Kira. Mickey. Kira. Mickey. Kira. Mickey. That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira! Mickey! Kira! Mickey! Kira! Mickey! Don't you ever forget it. <laughs> what the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jimmy? Right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait. You're the loom that's putting on a concert tonight? I'm one loom who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same loom you're looking for. What are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while well, well, that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's postcards, posters outside, and I said, check this place. Just then? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. Uh, I see. How big is the concert? We planned it for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal. And that's nice. Over 100,000 people is not many. And what exactly is? Hold on. When based on your, your little demonstration from, from before, I should call you Miss Mickey, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. 
Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft? As an alcohol free? No, I meant soft as in soft. Soft? Oh, let's see what I can get you. Something soft. Wonder what if she means alcohol free or something else. Hmm. Sweet, girly, happy, bitter, girly, soft. Happy, burning, strong, strong, bland, bland, strong. Let's try a fluffy dream, I suppose. Um, I don't know if I'll put from a tree in at this time. Well, she didn't say she didn't mean alcohol free. But if she's got a concert in a bit, I don't want her to be drunk. <laughs> so, just mixed. Okay. Try this. Yeah, this will do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? Huh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The part that bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the boss slipped his hand. Those kinds of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel pretty incredible and be very rewarding, you know. I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure. I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay then, who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it though. Your name, girl. Oh, Virgil then. Virgil. Never lose your star from Kira Miki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they used to keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. Uh, I see. They're also very organized. They'd make pretty good soldiers. <laughs> the others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. And she fails to see the problem? I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know. I take pride in my old liquor collection, I guess it's the same. No wait. It isn't. Yeah, you get me, Joe. Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized so the fellow should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they asked for your love as a drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets are worth the ridiculous price, you know. Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? 
Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee at this one cafe. It tastes like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it, if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything better? I really need to wake up myself up. Let's see what I can find for you. Maybe to sober up a bit? Okay. Um... Friends of the movie it was used in. Classic, but Peach Ratio's favorite beer or stairs since 2040. A frothy water. I don't want to give her a gut punch. Tongue burning, and this one a throat burning. Which one was it? Uh, oh, okay. All right. Um, to sober up. So up a bit. Hmm. Um. Okay. Hmm. On the rocks and blended. All right, let's try this one. Rocks. I'm not going to put any alcohol in it. Oops. I didn't wait long enough, I'm guessing. Oh, I'm blended. Okay. I mean, this is what I gave her the first time. <laughs> uh, it is bitter. this. Yeah, this works. So, how is it? Could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was w for waking you up or something, so... Really nice, thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but... Hmm? I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? I love that you know that before becoming Kira Mickey. I'll let you know that before becoming Kira Mickey, I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-timed in bars with the jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. Oh. Why the change? Going from jazz to piano to idol. Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, 
I can only take that power to so many people. Being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music and I can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Joe? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Right. I like to listen to music while working, and lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half of the listeners actually care about what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. They give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Joe. Sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but honestly, I don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girl's concert? No, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does that... Does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my moniker during my wrestling days. You're... Huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? That was that way I was three times faster. How'd you find out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Bill's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. We made twice as much as yesterday. <laughs> wow. <coughs> oh, we made a lot of tips, that's why. Grab a snack on the way home, it's on me. Okay. Service. Today's payment. Today's total transfer. Oh, that's my. Those are my total funds. Okay. We made a little less than yesterday, then, I think. We still made a lot in tips, though. Wow. Okay. You remember ship the Shunning Finger to automatically renew on the 17th. That's in two days. Make sure your account has at least 800 by then. Jill's humming Your Love is a Drug. Buying this song will prevent her from getting too distracted. Excuse me. You can now browse Kira Mickey's blog. Did the idol really show up? Or is she like the ghost? Hey. Okay. Let's go to the shop and buy that uh, song. It'll have a magazine with all things idols. Let's do a code for you. Your love is a drug. It's only 300. Okay. Joe bought what she wanted. She's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Okay. Boss and me. Let's uh, save, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, raid out. This back just so in case I forget later. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a, the uh, parfait. It looks pretty good, or whatever it was. It looks good. All right. Let's see who's live. If, uh, let's see. Who's live? 
Uh, is Lilith still alive? She's playing Yakuza. Uh, and Sylvie is eating. You like the game? Thank you, Aster. I definitely want to play more. Um, I don't know how long it is, though. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a good time. I like the vibes. Um, so Monday, we'll probably play Mass Effect or Cassette Beasts. We'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll see. I'll uh, figure out the schedule tomorrow night. Maybe. Okay. Uh, let's let's raid Lilith because she uh, she came by last time. Unless she's ending. Yeah, let's let's go say hi to Lil. Oh, shoot. I think she's ending. She's ending. She's ending. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> okay. She's ending. All right. Okay. All right, um, yeah, I think she's reading. It was a bummer. All right, it's fine. If I ended like 30 minutes ago, we could have waited her. <laughs> Night, thank you for being here. Um, Let's okay. Well, Sylvie is celebrating a hundred followers. What are they? I don't know what they're doing. They're watching YouTube right now. Um. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune is live. I haven't. I we haven't seen Miss Fortune in a while. You'll stay for the raid? Okay. Um, get some sleeps after the raid, too. It's been a day for sure. Yeah. Um, let's go see. Let's go see Miss Fortune. Her coat's a different color, too. Okay. I'm sure I spelled villain right. I did. Uh, she's playing Stellaris. She, like, streams, like, all night sometimes. <laughs> she, She's crazy. She's great. Um, I think she goes, like, 12 hours of just straight Stellaris. <laughs> but uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for ASMR. Love you all. Good night. Brush your teeth. Drink some water. Get some good sleep. Thank you for being here, everyone. Thank you again for the raid, Tweely. Let me give you another shout out if I can type fast enough. Um, yeah, please give Tweely some love. She's great, very cozy, comfy streamer. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, but bye bye. Uh, thank you for coming. I hope you liked the game. I did. Uh, so we'll definitely play some more. I'm not sure when, um, because we've got kind of a, <laughs> got a lot. I feel like we've got a lot on our plate, but uh, 
we'll see. I we might be close to finishing cassette beasts, but um, but uh, bye guys. I don't know when the thing's gonna start. Uh, in, in nine ten seconds. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> bye everybody. Bye bye. Good night. Sleep well. Bye bye.